It's Hollywood Babylon. With your hosts, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. It is Saturday night in Hollywood, so let's babble the fuck on. I'm Kevin Smith. Not that man. <laughs> what brings you here, uh, Batman? I imagine there's crime elsewhere, but... Uh... Well, I've retired for eight years. <laughs> so I thought I'd get into podcasting. I'm not the podcaster you need. I'm the podcaster you deserve. I get it, dude. You're the jealous. You're jealous because I show up every week wearing a costume. And you're like, I want to wear a costume. Had you told me, I would have worn my Bane gear and been like, uh, fuck. I always think, like, I always think I have a Bane quote at the ready. Yeah. And then immediately that file drawer opens and dust comes out. This is the second time I sat next to Batman today. I was just at Stan Lee uh, Kamikaze. Oh, that's right, Kamikaze. Yes. Well, I'm, at the, uh, I'm at the con today. And, yes. you know, when you get there, you get in the back door, and they bring you into this little waiting room, and then, boom, you're off on stage. Right. So I, I kind of went through the waiting room, and there were a few people in there, and I don't make eye contact and shit, because I'm always afraid I'll make eye contact, and they'll be like, ew. You know? <laughs> So I just, I tend to look up or around or whatever. So I went through the room, went on stage, did my thing with Adam West. We left and shit. Mm. Megan, who's my, my right arm in life, my, mm. my assistant, I, I want to say assistant, but really she's like the puppet master. Um, <laughs> Megan was in the waiting room for me because she don't go watch the show because she's like, I've heard this fat ass say everything. And like, if I hear one more time where the puck's going, I'll kill myself. So... <laughs> So she's sitting in that little green room thing, and so she was able to relate a fucking story. She told me the story. I was like, you're fucking lying. She's like, I swear this happened. She said there were two chicks in there that was just like, oh, my God, did you see Kevin Smith? He's so hot. The other chick goes, I'd fuck him. Let me get this straight. Don't debunk it. Don't, don't get all fucking... So your assistant... Who you pay <laughs> to keep you happy told you there were two women who just happened to be in the room who talked about how hot you were and how they would fuck you. You know, when you put it like that, it sounds specious. But no, no, I believe. Uh, absolutely. I said, come on. She's like, no, it happened. I was like, come on. She's like, no, it happened. Because I never hear shit like that. And that's the problem. I never hear shit like that. I'm hearing it from her fucking 30 minutes later and shit. That right. would have been nice to hear in the room because I would have been like, I got a real liberal wife. Come home with me. <laughs> anyway, that happened. Well, congratulations. Me. Thank you, man. Next time you go into one of those rooms, just step in and say, who wants to fuck me? <laughs> now let's kick off the show with some shout-outs. Uh, our uh, Adam Liebrich Johnson and Laura here. <laughs> They're right there. They're literally right there. Am I there. saying that name correct, Adam? Adam Liebrich Johnson? Yes. Yes, I'm saying it correctly. Uh, did, your, did your forefathers fight in the war? I'm wondering. <laughs> Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber alles. You're Jewish. <laughs> That's what you get for doubting that I could get some pussy, man. Uh, are Brian Lipko and Ashley in the house? Brian, yeah. You can't really raise your hand in a podcast, sir. I, I, I mention this every week. And I'm surprised you're not louder, sir, after I read your email, because he says, my girlfriend Ashley and I are from Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, my hometown. Who dares to boo Philadelphia? You're in the wrong fucking theater, son. Uh, could you wish her a happy birthday in your Al Pacino voice? Because she's got a great ass, he writes. She's my Vicki Vale, my Mary Jane, my Lois Lane. Aww. So she's a fictional character you masturbate to, sir? <laughs> or she's too stupid to figure out who you really are? Uh, we also get emails from all around the world every show. Yeah, my name is Wayne. I live in Newfoundland, Canada. It's my, wife and T my wife Tia and I make it a point to listen to every Babylon together. She's a huge fan of the podcast. This past June, we got married. Being the fan that she is, she asked me to email you guys and get marriage advice as we start a new life together. Well, I forgot. And now we got married in June, and it's September. 
And for the past three months, whenever we listen to the show, when it gets to the email portion, she turns to me and says, you never did email them, did you? <laughs> and I quickly come up with an excuse and hope she moves on. I'm truly sorry for putting this off for so long. Her birthday is Tuesday, and I was hoping Kevin, in his sexy Kevin voice, could wish her a happy birthday and tell her I'm sorry for the three-month delay for emailing you guys. Thanks a lot, Wayne. Hey, Tia. How would you like a back rub? That's how I start. You're supposed to do Wayne some good, not yourself. Well, I'm just getting her in the mood. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be there, so once she gets all moist and shit, you got to turn to this fucking loser. And <laughs> <laughs> I figure I'm helping out, so stand back. Bitch. All right, I'm sorry. Just because it's not done a la Al Pacino don't mean it ain't fun. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this is the new you after two, two anonymous women said they wanted to fuck you. This is... <laughs> This is the new sexually aggressive Kevin. I apologize. <laughs> oh, Tia. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Uh, Tia, uh, Tia, L lay down. Let me rub your back. Oh, shit, my hand's on your pussy. Oh, I'm eating you. Oh, we're fucking. Oh, we're done. That's just like what sex is like in my house. <laughs> You've had the whole Kevin Smith experience, Tia. Well, there you go, Wayne. Everything should be fine at home now. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at the geek news, shall we? Kevin and I we are shall, big geeks, sir. so uh, Green Lantern got married this week. I heard, man. Hal Jordan married Carol Ferris. It, it finally happened. It finally happened. Ryan Reynolds, who played Green Lantern in that god-awful movie, uh, married See, Blake something, Lively. Something good did come from that movie, That's man. right. Everyone's always like, nothing good came from that. Good-looking people had, to, had a chance to have sex with each other. And, that's, and, that's rare. And yeah. Chicks love this fucking dude, They man. sure do. In a big, bad way. He's, he's a good-looking dude. Hey, he's kind of charming. He's funny. I'd fuck him, too. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> that was that out that loud. Was a stream of consciousness. I was just kind of working through it in my head. I didn't know that it was... They got married at some place called Boone Hall Plantation in South Carolina. Uh, apparently, the uh, slaves worked the event, so that's <laughs> nice. Oh, Florence they... Welch of Florence and the Machine where the, was the wedding singer. She sang. She entertained. It's nice to have money, isn't it? Totally, right? Yeah. Uh, President Obama jumped out of a cake. That's, what they're saying. <laughs> That's fucking money when you can pay Barack to just come out in pasties. Hello, babblers. My name is John Anderson. Although the name might pass me as an American, I'm in fact Swedish. Well, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> nice. Thanks. The well-respected Swedish newspaper, Dagens Nyeter, had a headline on its website that immediately caught my attention. Now, I got this from several sources from our fans in Sweden, so I know it's true because I looked it up and I hit Google Translate and I read the article. Okay. Here was the headline. I shit you not. This was in, like, the New York Times of Sweden, okay? Well-hung Hollywood heroes searching for God. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. The DN had an exclusive interview with Liam Neeson. <laughs> the reporter said in the article... Neeson is deemed Mr. Nice Guy who never created scandalous headlines and spawned some rumors. The most persistent rumor, Neeson, is that he is the most well-hung male in Hollywood. At least if you believe Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman's podcast. That created a national movement with people trying to outdo each other by finding humorous parables on the theme, How Big Is Liam Neeson's Cock? We've gone international? We've gone international. Diplomatic immunity! <laughs> My favorite part of the article is this next line. But Neeson's genitals seem still not large enough to overshadow his image as a devoted family father, fly fisherman, and voracious reader. That would freak me out if somebody just came up to me and they're like, listen to this, and they played like a two-hour compilation. <laughs> Of fucking two strangers going like, Kevin Smith's cock is so little. And everyone like, ha, 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 ha. I'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> is this like the Truman Show? Every week we have to ask a question. Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? That Chuck Norris's wife fears his erection will plunge us into a thousand <laughs> years of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? Atheists refuse to acknowledge its existence. <laughs> and lastly, Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? 
that Ewoks used it to knock down an Imperial walker. <laughs> Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, did you have a good time this evening? Thank you so much for joining us again for a sold-out night. We really appreciate it. That is Hollywood Babylon for this week. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. Babble the fuck off. Good night, everybody. Haven't we all at some point in the evening settled for a bag of crack? Yes. You are interested in DTF. I don't know what DTF is. You're interested. Again, it gets out of habit because it doesn't itch a fidget and switch my position to my wetness on my left butt cheek. Piss because I know my stupid phone is going to ring again and I want to...